morning everyone Val here and it is time for our monthly cooking collab now this is sponsored by Roy over at recipes with Roy and this month's recipe is going to be fall flavors so everybody who's participating in this collab will be in the description box below so go and check out their fall recipes and find out what they've come up with this month now I have a bit of a cold because of the change of the weather. It is fall, so bear with me if I cough. I'm just cooking for myself, so I'm not going to spread any germs. I don't think there's germs to be spread. I just think it's a fall, fall, fall call, cold from all the changing in the weather and stuff. So I thought about all the fall flavors, and I picked pumpkin. And I know some people like pumpkin spice, and some people don't. I happen to love pumpkin spice, so every chance I get in the fall or throughout the year, if I can, I'll get some uh, something pumpkin spice. So I found this recipe. I've not tried this before, but I thought I'd try it since it's healthy and it's a uh, pumpkin and uh, it's breakfast. So I'm going to try something different for breakfast because I'm usually eating the same thing all the time. So these are, these are healthy pumpkin oatmeal pancakes. And our ingredients are pureed pumpkin. And this is, look at them because there's two pumpkins on the shelf. And I got the one that says a total of 5 grams of sugar. The other one had like 16 grams of sugar or something in it. So watch out that you get the right can with uh, a very low sugar in it. And that's what I chose for mine. It's three quarters cup of the pumpkin and two large eggs. It's one. <laughs> I got two here. Uh, half or two thirds of a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Uh, a tablespoon of pure maple syrup. I'm going to be using a sugar-free syrup. Keeping the calories down. It says one and a half cups of old-fashioned rolled oats. I eat the quick oats, so that's what I have in the house. I'm going to try that. Hopefully that'll work out fine. It's calling for two teaspoons of baking powder. I'll put the recipe in the description box below for you. So I have my baking powder. And then it's a, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of allspice, a half a teaspoon of the nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground, uh, ground ginger, and one-fourth teaspoon of salt. Um, it says you can also use the pumpkin pie spice, which is this. So I'm going to look over here because it's saying... Replace the spices with one and a half teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice. So I'm going to make it really simple and just use my pumpkin pie spice. So let's get started. All right, I have my blender here. So I'm going to start with the three-fourths cup of pumpkin. We're just going to put all the ingredients into the blender and let the blender do all the work. And hopefully this will work out. I like to try new recipes, and these cooking collabs give me a chance to try new recipes. Not just the ones that I'm watching online, but the one that I make because I am have a tendency to make something that I haven't tried before. Got my two eggs. I got uh, two-thirds cup of the almond, unsweetened almond milk, and I, if I have cereal, this is what I put on my cereal. So I have this in the house anyway. So there's my two-thirds cup of my almond milk. Two teaspoons of the vanilla extract. One tablespoon of the syrup. 
Just going to give it some maple flavor, I guess. I'm also going to use the syrup on my pancakes when I'm finished cooking them because I do like my sugar-free syrup on my pancakes. It says one and a half cups of the oats. That cup was, that half a cup was a little short, so I just added a touch more there. And then we're going to do the one and a half teaspoons of the pumpkin spice. And I love my pumpkin spice. So what we're doing one and a half teaspoons, that's one. And a half. All right. Simple enough. Now I'm gonna turn this on. It had baking powder in there. Hold on. I forgot my two teaspoons of baking powder. And it's a good thing to pull out all of your ingredients that way you don't forget one of them. So I did forget this. So it says two teaspoons. Of the bacon powder. All right, let's blend it up. All right, that looks pretty blended. Let's take it over to the stove and see how these pancakes turn out. Have the grill on my stove warming, and I'm just going to use a little cooking spray. It says you can use coconut butter to put on your grill or your pan, but I'm just going to use cooking spray. And this pancake mix, that's how much it made in the blender. It says it should make six pancakes. So and two pancakes would be a serving. So I'm going to see if I can make six pancakes here. I don't know how big they want them. That's about how big I make my pancakes because that's how big my grill is. And usually two pancakes this size is big enough for me. They look really good. Definitely thick. Well, this looks like it's going to make at least eight pancakes this size. This is the size pancakes I like. So, this will actually be fewer calories than I would normally have because. I like mine smaller according to their their measurement size. So I'm gonna let these cook and I'll be right back with you. Okay I can hear them cooking. Let's see if I can get them to flip over. They are almost like a cookie. They don't even uh, condense down into a little pancake. They're thick. which I'm not opposed of. Kind of neat. I'm 
All right, let them finish cooking and we'll give one a try. These are my two pancakes that I'm going to be eating for breakfast this morning. And I have my sugar-free syrup. And I don't use butter on pancakes. I know a lot of people do, so if you use butter, just add the calories for your butter in. <clears throat> the batter I had did make three more pancakes. So that's nine pancakes, and it said it, that it should make six. So I made mine really small. So I'm going to taste these pumpkin spice pancakes and see how the flavor of fall comes out in the pancakes. So let's give it a try. I've got the oatmeal. They do take a little bit longer to cook than normal pancakes. And actually this one probably could have gone just a little bit longer. And if it was up to me, I'd probably add a little bit more pumpkin spice to it. And I do have my pumpkin spice. So I might actually add a little bit more pumpkin spice to the pop top of my pancake. If you wanted to top it with some powdered sugar or something too, I'm sure that would be fine. <clears throat> Got a little pumpkin spice there. It's not real pumpkin spicy, so I would definitely add more of the pumpkin spice flavoring to it if you're looking for pumpkin spice because I think it needs more pumpkin spice flavoring. But the pancake, the texture of the pancake with the oatmeal, I actually like it. I don't miss the floury texture. Yeah, I think it's good. Give the recipe a try and let me know. Let me know if you like it. I like it. So <laughs> that's what I have for today. Check out all the other recipes and see what they came up with for their fall flavors and their fall recipes. I will put the everything in the description box below. This is saying that two pancakes have 258 calories, 39.6 carbohydrates, 9.8 grams of protein, 6.8 grams of fat, your saturated fat is 0.8 grams, your fiber is 6.3 grams, and your sugar is 8.8 .8 grams. So if you're following the recipe and you're doing six pancakes out of the batter and you're eating two as a, as a serving size, then that would be all of your calories and everything. I think 258 calories for two pancakes. I count calories. I'll go with that. I think that's a, a good breakfast. You could actually top it with banana or apples or anything else if you wanted to add some more flavors to it. So thank you all for watching. Check out the other participants in the description box below. Have a wonderful fall and uh, share some fall recipes. Thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all on the next cooking club. Bye now.